Hey everybody, this is the Barton Musical Circuit's digital hi-hat right here. Uh, so the idea behind this is it's a digital noise, decaying noise source, kind of like my DDN BMC-10 that came out um, a while ago. And uh, the difference is you have two sets of controls and instead of going to two separate outputs, there's a single output and then you have this open and closed input that uh, selects which of those uh, sets of controls is used for each hit. Kind of like opening and closing the a hi-hat symbol. Um, so you have an input for your trigger or gate uh, and then a single audio output and then we have four knobs and two toggles for the two different channels. Uh, each channel has a decay knob and a pitch knob and the pitch knob is uh, when it's all the way to the left, it's the highest pitch, and on the way to the right, it's the lowest pitch. And that's dividing the counter that's used for the digital noise. Um, and with the decay, it's uh, shorter decay on the left, longer decay on the right, which is pretty standard. Uh, and then on the toggles, we have the uh, gate toggle, which what that does is it's, uh, instead of starting to decay on the uh, rising edge of your gate, it'll uh, start to decay on the, clo the lowering edge, and it'll just remain high. So that way it makes it sensitive to the width of the uh, input like pulse that's triggering it. Um, and then finally, there is the shape control, which works for controls both channels. And what this does is it mixes between a logarithmic or a linear uh, output decay, uh, when it's all the way to the left, it's logarithmic, and all the way to the right, it's linear. Uh, and so this could also be thought of as kind of like a master decay to control uh, both sets uh, at the same time. And then the final toggle here is the reverse switch, and that just reverses the logic of the open and closed. And that's the basics of it, and I'm going to set up a patch to show you how it works. Uh, or show you how it sounds. Oh, and also it is compatible with the arpeggiator expander. The, Switches don't do anything, but you can use this to get voltage control over the five parameters. And I'm going to use a voltage to rhythm generator for my triggers and then an LFO for my uh, CV over here. So, let's just patch it up. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I will just note uh, that when I was flipping these toggles, these triggers are so short, uh, it doesn't give you a great idea of the difference. So I'm going to switch it to gate mode instead of trigger for this, just so you hear it being sensitive to that. So thank you for watching. <laughs>